guys, I'm here today with another haul. I know I shouldn't be shopping since I've been doing some of the decluttering, but this is probably the only haul you'll see for the month of October as far as beauty products go. I'm going to do it in a two-part haul because I did pick up some more clothing that I want to show you because I think you might really enjoy it. But as far as the beauty products go, I don't have a ton. It's enough. It's not the biggest haul ever. Yeah, it's still a lot. So let's just get started. First off, I'll do something a little differently. Um, I did pick up a few things from Anthropology. They have some amazing candles right now. And I don't know if they have them all the time or if they're just right now because I'm not a big Anthropology shopper. We have one around me, but it's just, there's so much stuff in there. I, I don't really like taking my daughter in there. And their shipping is, it's like $9 or something. So... I just don't do a lot of shopping there. Anyways, they had a few scents that I really wanted to try, and it's the ones that come in these containers. I don't even want to pronounce what it is. The Boo, the B word brand. I don't know. They have a um, some, they have all kinds of brands, but I picked up two from this, and this is the Amaretta Orange scented candle, and it doesn't have the description on here. But look at the packaging. Isn't it not beautiful? It smells amazing. I can't wait to burn it. And this one was on sale. I want to say it was like 18 for this large one. And then this one is the Whipped Cream and Pear. And this size was maybe like 15 or 16. It smells amazing. But I noticed it's only filled up to there. So I thought that was kind of strange. Um, they had a bunch of other scents that were really yummy sounding. But I just got those. And then I also picked up a perfume, and it was from a Ro from Royal Apothic in the scent Dogwood Blossom. And it is the prettiest packaging. And the notes, tobacco flower, warm amber, ginger, cocoa, honey, tonka bean, and teakwood. That is my kind of scent. And you just do like this. I'm probably going to keep the packaging, and I'm not a packaging keeper, but it's so cute. And in case you care, that's what it looks like. And this is the bottle and it smells it's that tobacco flower I guess I'm picking up I think it's Tom Ford has a tobacco scent I've had like um, samples of that perfume or fragrance and I love it and this smells similar and this was on sale for half off so I think it ended up being around nine dollars and it is a sprayer I prefer a sprayer as opposed to a roller ball. I just, I don't know. I just like to spritz it all over. And then I also picked up one more fragrance and that was all from Anthropology. I actually I picked up two more fragrances. This I've been wanting so bad. It's the Giorgio Armani C or Si, S-I. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. And this scent, I will have the notes at the bottom of the screen because I don't know. It is a roller ball. And it smells so nice. It smells... Something about it reminds me of my daughter. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm not saying it smells childish. It smells just sweet and feminine and baby-like. So I love it. And I'm pretty sure it has like some warm notes in it. Woods or amber or musks. Something like that. And then lastly, fragrance. I picked up the Wild Madagascar Vanilla little mini one from Bath & Body Works. They're like since they promote like this. It's been a long time since I've really enjoyed one because they're kind of all the same or overly fruity or something like that. This one I really enjoyed. It's been a long time since a scent at Bath & Body Works has really just wowed me. Um, it's warm. It's kind of smoky. It's like dark and um you know, real wintry and comforting. I'm going to really enjoy it this year. And I've been using it pretty exclusively since I picked it up. Okay, and that's all for perfume. I have one nail polish. I cannot allow myself to get on Pinterest all the time. There's just too much. It is just, I, I spend what I think is 10 minutes and it's been like 2 hours. But lately I've been on there pinning stuff. And there's been a nail polish that I keep seeing people pin over and over as a perfect fall nail polish and it's Essie Demure Vixen and in the bottle it just kind of looks like that um like a mauve taupe 
which is similar to Essie Ladylike, which I've wanted as well. But on closer note, this has kind of like a fine, like a violet shimmer. Do you see that? I've read the reviews and people say it's kind of sheer, so you might need three coats, but it is so pretty. I can't wait to do that on my nails. I'm probably going to do it tonight because my nails are really bad chipped right now. Okay, I hope that's better. I changed my lighting. I don't know. I keep it set to indoor, but every once in a while it changes to outdoor on its own. So, if I look kind of yellowy or orangey, it's not a good look. Anyways, okay, let's see. I picked up a few higher price things, and I guess I'll start with those first. First off, I placed an order on Sephora, and I'm, I need to do a video on um, like my online shopping tips, but I noticed this code that they had, and it was for a Bare Minerals set, Best in Show, a three-piece set, and you get the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow 2.0 in top shelf, like a mini. A beauty blush and a marvelous moxie lipstick and speak your mind the blush I don't I just don't like loose blushes it's just I don't know it's just too much work so I don't want that and it's in the shade beauty I don't know if I mentioned that so that will probably go on my declutter stuff the little marvelous moxie lipstick and speak your mind is a very nice mauve color like a rosy mauve Hold on, I'm comparing it to something. No. The Buxom one I've gotten in a set it looks similar to. This one, I've worn it a few times, and it's really pretty for fall. Um, I'm glad I have it, because I probably wouldn't have purchased it. I don't really look at Bare Minerals, like makeup and lipsticks. But this, the top shelf, is what caused me to order it. It comes with Mixologist and Cognac. I have put this little duo in my cart a million times. This is kind of like a champagne color, and this is a bronze. A little similar to Woodwinked by MAC, but not so orangey. But I have put this in my cart so many times and taken it out over and over and over and almost purchased it. And I'm so glad I didn't because this little duo, it will last me as long as I want these. And they're about the same size as the Lorac Pro 2 or Pro pans. I don't know how deep they are, but I've never hit pan on one of the Lorac shadows. So I'm really happy to get that. That is so exciting and then I picked up with that this is kind of like a little review video because a lot of the stuff I've tried I picked up the Naked 2 Basics by Urban Decay I had the first one and returned it I just didn't like it the shadows were to me it was like all light and then two darker ones this is more of a um, gradient this has a little bit of shimmer but not much at all this is a perfect brow bun. This is like a cooler, creasy color. And then these two, that's still perfect for the crease. It's not too dark. This is a great outer V color. I might could probably even use this on my eyebrows, quite honestly. And then this is a nice dark color, but not black. So it's not so stark and harsh and easy to use. But I've smudged this on my top lash line. And I did a look, and I used all of these the other day, and I really liked it. They are powdery, but that doesn't bother me because I have a lot of shadows that I love that are powdery to start with. I just get my brush in it and then tap it on the side, you know, kind of like, and it's fine. I don't notice fallout. Okay, three lipsticks that I've mentioned a few times, and it's the NARS Audacious lipsticks. The first one I picked up was Raquel, and I thought it would be my absolute favorite, and it has turned out to be my least. It's kind of a nudie peach, but it has a little too much brown in it to just be an everyday nudie peach in my mind. I'm unsure if I really like it. I may, I don't know, I may return it. That's bad. This is Barbara, which is the last one I picked up. I thought it would be my least favorite, but for some reason, I love it. It's just it's that perfect, it's like a um, muted 90s look. It's If you're unsure about the 90s look but you want to try it, I think Barbara is a perfect one to try. And then last but not least, I picked up Anna. Well, secondly. And I thought I was unsure of this one. 
these all are like the same kind of color families but they're very different it's more purple but I'm liking it as well so I think I'm gonna return Raquel I think while I'm talking to you about this I've pretty much decided I'm gonna return Raquel it was not the winner that I really hoped it would be okay and then I picked up this NARS duo in Dolomites it was hard to track down um, I think it's fall. I'm not sure. And it is so pretty. I was a little worried that this was going to be a little too icy purple. But it's really wearable. And then the brown is kind of brown burgundy. See, you can see. But it's not crazy. And it's a perfect outer corner. So there's the purple. There's that. If you can see it's a really pretty kind of fall everyday eye look I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it I keep saying in the end I picked up a Chanel eyeshadow from fall and this was the only thing in the collection that even caught my eye and it's in hesitation if you'll notice I'm kind of going for these kind of shades I'm gonna swatch it with a sponge everything on my arm looks the same today <laughs> There's Hesitation. It's a burgundy. Really pretty color. And since I'm talking about that, you'll notice a real pattern. I picked up a Makeup Geek Shadow in Country Girl. I watch a lovely lady here on YouTube. She changed her channel name recently, so I'll try to link her down below. And she had done a eyeshadow look with this. And she has blue eyes. And she had mentioned that, you know you know these ready colors look great on people with that and she just did a one eyeshadow look with it and it was so beautiful I had to order it and I've used it and I really love it and I'll tell y'all something embarrassing I was going through my like single pan um, eyeshadows the other day and I already had it I didn't even know um, the one I already have I don't even think I've used but I have used this one from the drugstore, I finally found this Wet n Wild Smoke and Melrose palette, and at my parents' Walgreens, they always have stuff. That's where I found it, and I, um, it's these same kind of shades. I'm not going to swatch all of them, but if you can get your hands on this, I think it would satisfy your urge for these mauve colors, the Hesitation by Chanel, the NARS Duo, and the Makeup Geek. I mean, look. They're all the same kind, but you know, over buying makeup, it's awful. Okay, a few more things. I had been watching Natalie Flower Bomb, and she had picked up or mentioned it. Gosh, it could have been a long time ago, I don't even remember now. This Mary Kay Cream Eyeshadow in Apricot Twist. I got it on eBay. I'm sorry if you sell Mary Kay. And that offends you. Um, it's very similar to Mac Rubenesque Paint Pot. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't tell you about how well it wears. And then also the eyeshadow I picked up. Not her recommendation, I don't think. It's Rose Gold. And it doesn't have a lot of rosiness in it. To me, it's more bronzy than... I would expect rose gold to be. Can you see that? I don't know. So that is the little Mary Kay things. And then a few things I picked up from the drugstore. I had these in my video. You're going to have already seen it. The Colleen Rothschild Review. The Jordana Cabernet Lip Liner to go with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. This is more purpley and this is more red. But I think they go fine. Some people are, their liners, I don't know how they pick them all out. I, I'm not a big liner wearer, so it's a new thing to me. But this is a cheap liner if you want something for your dark lippies for fall. And this is very dark. And my husband, I, before I filmed the video, I sent him a picture of myself with it on. And I said, is it scary? And he was like, you know. But he liked it. He said it was just dark and different. So, I'm, I think I'm going to have fun with this for fall. And I... I really, well, I really like the texture of this product, but I really like the product on me. I think it was, it made my teeth look white. 
And then I finally, I've been wanting one of these Milani Bella Rouge eyeshadows. And I've been looking for this particular shade everywhere. And I finally found it. And it's the Bella Rouge. You're going to die when you see it. It's those same colors I've been going for. I, okay, I haven't tried one of these yet. And I see everybody here talk about them. And they act like it's a gelled powder. Or maybe I'm confused. That doesn't feel anything like gel to me. That is the most awkward arm swatch of life. It has like an iridescent tone. I think that will be really pretty. I hope this this haul isn't going by too fast where I feel like I'm just like, woo, look at what I bought. I'm not meaning it to be that way if it seems that way. I'm just trying to be a little speedier because I can get my videos, I can get chatting and just going on and on and I'm just trying to make them be a little faster. Okay, three more things. Also with my Sephora order, I had picked up this lip balm. It is the Tony Moly Lip Balm in Honey. And I have had Tony Moly products before that I'd ordered on eBay because they're an Asian brand, I think. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. And this is a little obnoxious. I thought it was kind of silly, but I love honey lip balms. And I had seen people say it was a true honey. Oh, it's amazing. It's this light peachy color. It doesn't really provide any color to your lips, but it's really thick. And I like my lip balms to have a lot of substance to them. Like, I don't like them to be just like an oily, thin film. I want to really feel the stuff on there. Like, a waxy texture I like because it's really just on my lips and sticks around. And this kind of fills that void. So, I do like that. And I think, I think I like this as much as I like my Dior Creme de Rose. So, that says a lot. And lastly, it's something I picked up today. It is the lip combo I'm wearing right now. I don't know how well it shows up. I had enough to back to MAC, so I picked up the most quintessential 90s lip for MAC. I picked up Twig, which we have all seen a million times. <sighs> These kind of colors scare me, but I really liked it on myself today. And the MAC lady said this has been super popular lately. Surprise, surprise. Um... I had also seen a pin with this combo on my Pinterest and I pinned and that's what made me kind of want it. And then if you could guess, I picked up Spice Liner, which, gosh, I used to think I would never own this. I remember when I first started getting into MAC, it was like the, like 2004, 2003 kind of era and we were like just coming off of the 90s lip and I remember reading stuff about how this was the most popular liner at the time and to me I thought oh it is so hideous because it looked like the 90s well that's why it's popular now I'll just swatch it on my hand I'll do a swatch of both my gosh this is like the 90s and um anyways I like it it's it's pretty if that's what you're going for so, that's what I'm wearing. And I did try on Faux. I really liked it. It was a lot more like purpley cool. And another color that wasn't 90s. Patisserie. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But I want that one so bad. It's a luster finish. So, it's that like that glossy kind of sheer look that I really love. The Faux color I want so bad. And what else is there? I want Brave. I still want Japanese Maple. It just keeps getting to the end of my list. And I've been seeing so many people doing fall lip videos. And there's so, there's so many colors I'm wanting. Um, Diva I want to try. It's just, there's too many MAC lipsticks. I need to do some more decluttering so I can get some more lippies. Okay, guys. So this is what I picked up. Raquel is going back. That's not a whole lot. But I hope y'all weren't disappointed, those of you that's been watching my declutter videos. I'm not trying to load up on a lot of stuff because I've been still decluttering even the stuff I've already gone through. I'm still pulling stuff out after like reevaluating it. So I'm getting rid of more and I have some more declutter videos I need to do. So hopefully I'm not adding too much product. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.